Hey, this is Johnny Mendez with Buck and Associates, and today I'm going to talk to you about what house hacking is and how you can take advantage of it. What house hacking is, is basically where you buy a house, right, that's at least, you know, two, three bedroom house, more than one bedroom, and you rent out the other bedroom while you live in, in one of the bedrooms or on the couch or wherever, somewhere in the house. What this does is it drastically reduces your mortgage payment and actually makes it cheaper in a lot of cases than it would be if you were to rent a one bedroom apartment. Not only that, but you're also gaining equity every single month when you're making those mortgage payments. And, you know, there's a system, there's, there's, a, there's a method called the BRRR method, which I've talked about on, uh, on videos before, saying, you know, it's BRRRR. So buy, renovate, refinance, rent out, and then you just repeat. You don't have to use house hacking when you're doing BRR, but it's really the best way to get started when you're younger, because you're gonna pay rent anyways, and you gotta live somewhere. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you a, a little bit of an example of how house hacking can really work to your advantage. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna try to explain it right here on this, uh, on this whiteboard here. So basically house hacking, we're gonna use a $300,000 house as an example. We're gonna put down $10,500, which is three and a half percent down. And our monthly mortgage payment comes out to $1,752.90, right? So we're gonna be buying a three bedroom house, right? Let's say in this market we could sell, or we could uh, rent each bedroom out for $700. That makes it a total of, let's say we're living in one bedroom and we're renting out the other two. That gives you $1,400 a month of rent minus the monthly mortgage payment comes up to $352. So compare that to on average, you know, and this is a very low, you know, average, you know, you might pay $1,000, you know, for a studio or, you know, you might get a house with a few friends, you might be paying a thousand each. Um, it's a big difference. You know, you just got to start and be realistic. You know, if you live in this house for, you know, six months to a year, you could move out and then hypothetically rent out the whole house and you know, your mortgage could be covered. So just adding a little bit to this uh, example here, if we're gonna use the BRRR method, um, on top of this also, so you're getting cash flow every month, you know, there, you got people paying you, you're only paying 300 some dollars in rent, but there's another aspect to it. So if you buy a property that let's say is worth 360 or 370, and it needs 20 grand of worth of work, well now you buy that $300,000 property, put 20 grand in, and all of a sudden it's worth 360, 370. You made 40, 50 thousand dollars there. So that's another way that you can make money while you're living there, paying less rent, and um, you know, finally, eventually, what you can do is you can refinance and actually take that 50 grand out tax free because you're not selling the asset, you're just refinancing it. So you can actually take that money out tax free and use it for your next deal. The only thing is your next year you're going to have to put down 20%, 25% instead of 3.5% down. So the BRR method goes really great with house hacking, um, especially if you're younger, you already have roommates anyways, you know, you could uh, just move out, pay less in rent and have a piece of property to call your own. Um, at the end of this BRRR method, so you, you buy it, you remodel it, then you refinance it to take out the equity, and then finally you rent it out completely, meaning that you move out. You rent out the, the entire house. So a good realtor will be able to get with you and tell you these numbers ahead of time. But uh, yeah, BRR method and house hacking go really great together. Uh, like I said, if you are, if, if you already have a roommate, you know you're already used to sharing spaces with people. Uh, so stop paying someone else's mortgage. You know, make it uh, your mortgage that you're paying off and that other people paying off are paying off. In this example here, when we're talking about a three hundred thousand dollar house, you only put down ten thousand five hundred dollars. And let's say you move out and it's paying for itself. Let's say you're getting $1,800 a month, right? That's paying for itself. And in 30 years, you just got a house for $10,000. And obviously this $300,000 house in 30 years is not gonna be worth $300,000, probably worth a lot more, you know? So it's basically like getting a house for free if you think about it. And you know, if you can qualify for a VA loan, you can actually get the house for 0% down and you don't even pay PMI. So this would actually be a lot cheaper for you if you're if you're if you can qualify for a VA loan. So like I said, really great for young folks if you don't really care too much about uh, you know the area you're living in, you can live in an area for a couple years. Um, you'll make some good money hopefully, you know, and uh, that's really what my job is is to help you find a property that does make sense and you know that uh, can be good for this. So 
If you have any questions, obviously, just please let me know. Reach out to me. I'm always happy to talk real estate. And ask anybody. Uh, you know, most people that are successful have bought real estate when they're younger. You know, the younger you buy, the better, really. Um, so, like I said, this was House Hacking. My name is Johnny Mendez. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.